Next up. It is Python and Harbor News. It's the Blinka News. Beep, right. beep, 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 beep. Blinka. The news this week, um, okay. the talk that you did is posted. Yes. So this was the Linux AU. Um, okay, so everyone who's like, why did CircuitPython fork? Why did you do Blinka? Why did you make all these decisions? These are bad decisions. I think they're bad decisions. There may be a reason behind these decisions. You could watch this talk, and I will explain from beginning to end uh, the story of how CircuitPython and Blinka came to be and why I made some decisions. We even got yeah. an email from somebody saying, that, which we've known for a while, and he's like, always oh, like, I never really understood why CircuitPython had to fork. And they're like, I watched this, and I actually understand why you did it. Um, so yeah. check it out. It's also a great history of like all things microcontroller and electronics packed into one hour, and I also uh, serve up duck three ways at the end. All right. Um, this is kind of neat. These are the die shots of the Raspberry Pi RP2040. It is. It's yeah. a mini Raspberry Pi logo. So you could start to see the uh, insides of... I love it. Like, you're like zooming in. The chip. Cool. Nice. Yeah. That can run Python. That's right. That's yeah. literally Python on that hardware. <laughs> literally Python on the hardware. Um, another reminder, 27,000 people in Discord. Some of you are there right now. We have 4,528 people online right now. Um, Scott's Deep Dive is this week. Don't forget that. News around the web, you can check out Melissa's really cool. Um, it's like a little personal digital assistant, a CPDA, CircuitPython digital assistant. It runs on a Adafruit Pi portal, Titano, and does things like calculator, has little icons. Reminds you of, uh, reminds you of the... Like the Newton and the Palm Love and, it. and uh, the Magic Cap OS. I, well, remember we, we went and saw the Magic Hat uh, while we were working yeah. on Pi Portal, I think, was when we went yeah. to watch the Magic Hat um, uh, documentary. Remember yeah. we were watching movies? Yeah, I remember going to the that movies. Was, that was cool. Geek, we have a couple more projects. We also released a guide. Uh, you can see um, this is uh, Professor uh, G. Professor G's uh, mask launcher or mask giver. Uh, this is kind of neat. The circuit sculpture uh, hobby comes to the Pico, and this is Circuit Python and circuit sculpting with Circuit Python powering it. Here's some more uh, Pico projects. Ooh, this is, is MIDI. So yeah, this is some MIDI stuff. Uh, everyone's checking out uh, Stonks, Stonks, and uh, Gamespot. <laughs> and if you and if you want to use the, and make the easiest possible stock ticker, you can do it with. Circuit Python in a matter of minutes, and so like if you wanted your own stock ticker, if you're like okay, like I'm gonna just check out this trend today, or I'm on Wall Street bets tomorrow, or I'm gonna use Robinhood now, like this is this is a way to do it. It's, it's a great way to see your money disappear. Yeah. <laughs> but um, in Circuit Python. <laughs> and uh, here's a OSC device using Sonic Pi and Raspberry Pi Pico. The ADC reads Circuit Python slider allowing the pupils on the dinky OSC to move all around the eyes. It was a really cute project. Yeah. Um, Pimeroni. Lots of people doing Pico MicroPython. Display. Yeah. Um, so Pico's making the rounds. You can see a bunch of um, uh, tutorials and more. Um, folks are diving right in, getting their Python on, and then programming microcontrollers. So this wrap-up uh, week that we did has a lot of uh, MicroPython projects, a lot of CircuitPython projects. You can use these with Pico. One of the cool things with CircuitPython, of course, or really what's Python, is you can take the code and move it around, and it works yeah. other places. Other guides that we publish, team notes and more, we're up to 290 libraries. You can see what each team member is up to on the team, what we're publishing, what events are ahead, and more. And that is Python on Hardware News for this week. It's been massive. And this Pico launch is just going to, like, there's now thousands and thousands of people that now have a board that runs MicroPython, CircuitPython. So I think we're going to see a ton more projects, code, contributions. I'm super psyched. Yeah. And the whole idea is, and this is the thing I like about electronics right now, is you have choices because you can boot up a CircuitPython. You can use it MicroPython. You can <laughs> use you it have two built C++. In, so it's yeah. like trivial. Oh, my God. I love that. It's just like drag and drop. It's like exactly like the next generation is perfect. So yeah. a, a lovely a new microcontroller. I'm, I'm enjoying seeing people, you know, like it, it's funny. I mean, like I, I think eventually there'll be Arduino 4 and that's really good. 
but I kind of love that people are sort of being forced to use MicroPython and CircuitPython, right? Because it's like that's the that's the way you can do um, projects. And I think um, we're you know we're going to see people kind of being pushed to use something that a lot of people are like, oh, I, you know, I've never used it. I don't want to use it. I'll use Arduino. But now they're kind of like, well, you got to use MicroPython. That's the official language. Yeah, cool. and for a lot of folks, they're like. They, have, they start off with what they, this is a good segue into our open source stuff, they start off with, oh, I just want to move a servo, and we made it so easy, that gets them going, and then they can use other stuff later, but like CircuitPython gets you going in a matter of minutes. Um, it's one of the programming languages we like to use, we 